Uh, so in this video today, I'm going to be speaking about John Wall and the Clippers and how way too many people are underestimating John Wall's potential impact in this upcoming season. But before I get into the video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I always appreciate the love. And yeah, let's just jump straight into the video. So John Wall's obviously an LA Clipper now on a two-year deal. And I'm seeing way too many people underestimate this um, move because in my eyes, that's genuinely a big three. Because what John Wall adds to this team is just another layer which they don't have. Reggie Jackson's a good scoring guard. However, John Wall is an elite playmaker on top of that John Wall can still play defense and he can still finish at the cup and get to his spots from the mid-range now is John Wall going to be as explosive as he was in Washington five years ago no but the point is you've still got a facilitating guard who can play defense and is a part and is pass first ready and what you guys need to understand that in every single year in Washington and even his last year in Houston John Wall was always being guarded by the best player on the opposing team now you've got Paul George and Kawhi, that's now the third best defender on the team. You think John Wall's not going to have easier looks? You think John Wall's not going to be able to get to the cup easier? He is. So overall, I just think that this is such a good move because everything's going to become easier for John Wall and the Clippers are more deep because as much as I love Reggie Jackson, he should not be our starting point guard where he can be, but having him off the bench is just another scoring weapon there. Obviously, you've got Norman Powell and Rocco who you weren't able to see with Kawhi in the full strength roster but the Clippers are going to be scary like hot take I would not be surprised if the Clippers win in the excess of 67 games next season if they stay healthy because that team is honestly phenomenal they're deep in every single position and the only position there's a slight question mark might be the certain position but for that they can run small ball with Roko at the five at times because that's easy because I call it small ball there, but then they could easily run a lineup of like John Wall, PG, Kawhi, who have I missed out? Marcus Morrison, Robert Covington. That's a small ball lineup, but in reality, that's a big ass squad right there. That's five guys who literally are above, apart from John Wall, above the height of 6'6. Six, six. That's pretty scary if you ask me. And people are forgetting that John Wall in his last season in Houston, although he only played like what 40 odd games, he averaged 20 and 7. Yes, the efficiency was not amazing, but as I pointed out earlier, with John Wall being checked by the third, fourth best defender on the every team, which is probably going to be an average defender at best, you're going to have John Wall feasting. There's going be less offensive pressure for him he's going to be able to do his thing play his game and just be a facilitator and defender because if you didn't watch him in houston let me tell you right now he is still blisteringly quick he can still defend so john wall's not lost that much of a step he's not where he once was but he's not that bad either i also feel like his three-point shot has improved i wouldn't be surprised if john wall's around the 36 percent range next season and although he likes to take a lot of mid ranges and they're not all they're not always the best shot he can knock them down so it's not like john wall's going to be a floor spacing killer even though you've got how many players that can shoot on the Clippers. John will fit just fine. And like I said, this move right here could genuinely elevate the Clippers so much higher than they already were. Because Reggie Jackson as a weapon off the bench can be lethal. He might even be in the running for six man of the year. Who knows? But that's all I really got to say. Stop sleeping on the Clippers, guys, because they're really coming back this season. They're going to turn some heads. And I genuinely think they're going to get to the finals. I think it'll be a cakewalk. This sounds dumb, but my prediction is six is Clippers final book it yet and i'll come back to this video in june but yeah thank you guys for listening and i'm out peace